at the affordable price that is yes. the most important that we try to do it even it though more than 60% we import the raw in ingredient we import uh, the tukuti sauce oh. we import <laughs> ashwete we import oh. so many things Hi everyone! I'm so happy I made it early at the venue so I can take selfies before my very special guest will arrive. I am so excited and waiting. And my big time guest is no other than the owner of Tuto Inasal which is going to open another branch and more branches. She is very passionate in bringing Philippines closer to Filipinos. What a nice and very inspiring effort it is. So please welcome. Let us meet Today to have Dr. June with us. I can't believe that she said yes because she's so busy. And you know, we will see the story why she chose to, to start the Toto Inasal business, which is a Filipino food here in Thailand. Okay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> okay. I would like to know what motivates you. To, to start this business because my experience with my other colleagues before they they don't really appreciate Filipino food and I'm so surprised that that you chose this business okay I think it's actually started for uh, I know a lot of Filipinos and I know that one thing that I really admire Filipino people because they really love family and then they are willing to sacrifice to work in a board and sending money back to to their family, to their countries, you know. And then sometimes they are okay to stay like 10 years, 15 years without going back, but still keep sending money, but they are still family. So this is the thing that I said, oh, they should be, they should receive something that, that make them feel home, or maybe they miss their food. And also I experienced, I worked before in the company in the Philippines. Thai, Thai company, but we also have an uh, office in the Philippines, so I travel there. And I, as a normal Thai who really cannot eat any food, so I cannot eat anything until I try the grilled chicken in a sal. And then I feel like, ah, that is the only thing that makes me survive. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot eat adobo, I cannot eat uh, anything. Mm. Yeah, so even the rice is different quality from Thailand. I cannot eat the rice too. So I can eat the chicken there. So that's why I think ah, maybe, uh, and it's difficult to do that chicken, right? And every family, they can cook by themselves. They can even cook sisig, they can cook adobo. They can cook, they, they can cook sinigang, anything. <laughs> but it's very difficult to, to cook in a sal chicken. That's why I decided to do this as a gift to Filipino people. So actually we are feeling so thankful for that because yeah we missed home and through that it's actually um, a help for Filipinos as well to, to you know uh, taste the, the Philippines away from home. <laughs> At the affordable price that is yes. the most important that we try to do it. We actually we can do, if we want to you know take advantage or make it more expensive we can do but we don't do. As you can see, our food is even cheaper than Thai food. Even though more than 60% we import the raw in ingredient. We import everything. We import uh, the tukuti sauce. Oh. We import <laughs> ashwete. We import oh. so many things. Wow. Just to make sure that it's really original and authentic. Mm. Yeah. We, 
we we have right to use the lime but we choose calamansi for <laughs> so amazing that's why the taste is different really the different. taste is really really home yeah, yeah. and so um by this um that's why probably your your business is is flourishing is it is it a success for for fast you mean this the auto business yeah yeah yeah, yeah. It's, it's okay we are fast growing actually mm -hmm. how how when when did it started like if you uh, december last year this no last uh last, last year. year yeah so. 2018 mm, that is like we and we started for six months before like delivery only then we come up with the kiosk and now we are expanding to the second kiosk and we are expanding to the third one which is really really the big and proper restaurant wow and yeah people here filipinos and probably other nationalities appreciate the the, the food that you, you actually it's not only food that I would like to promote uh, apart from paying back gratitude to the country of the Philippines. I want to, I want to promote Filipino food and people and culture together. Mm. Because if only food, you know, I don't have to do this, mm -hmm. right? I have my other business. I really don't have to do this, yeah, but yeah. I did. And so hands on, I really, um, as um, I discovered that you are the owner and the CEO and. You, you, I can see effort in like um, promoting this this business. I, I will not wonder when when this is will be really boom like like in, um, be a success in the near future and more branches to to open because yeah you 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 started with it the passion for 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 it is is really like um, amazing. I think the really key is that. It can real. I can really deliver the value to all our customers. Actually, the income is not. I mean, if it's because of the income, I don't need to do this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but the value that make every family fulfill every time that they gather, that's actually um, making total grow. We did not put much effort, but the support from the customer really reflect back to us. And also our all staff are really passionate and fulfilled. I think this is a key. Since you're preparing the, the Philippine foods, uh, are, do you have Filipino chefs in there? Or? Yeah, yeah. We have 10 chefs. Mm. We are doing in the central kitchen system everything is systematic nothing manual the mm. customer asking me whether they can order not in the line and i say no <laughs> everything connected into inventory system everything in the system so even inventory until the until reach the customer tracking gps of the rider mm. so everything is a supply chain mm. we we are not homemade vendors yeah, we are it's in industrial uh, systematic. Yeah, and it's really not just the small kind because it, it's, it's gonna be big. It's gonna be more branches to go. <laughs> uh, yeah, as long as I think if if more people appreciate Filipino food, people, and country, mm -hmm. I really emphasize three things must come together. I don't have point to sell only food. I'm not food vendor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so if so if this value will go together, it's it worth my time. Mm. If it's food only, it doesn't worth my time. Wow, that's really like a good information that for us to, to you know appreciate this 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 kind of you know your passion for bringing this this not just a business but also a, a love blend together. It's really amazing. So I think Filipino people deserve that. <laughs> you guys really a big family lover. Mm -hmm. That you deserve. You deserve that. And we also appreciate the, the Thai culture because there are many good things about Thai people that you know. Even I, I wanted to live here like for good because it's the peace, it's peaceful. People are polite, kind. Mm -hmm. So I, what more can I ask for? Like 
it feels warm as well. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, Thai people is quite like like easy people. Mm. Easy, peaceful people. Peaceful, even though they're they're angry, even though they they are not approve of something. This, I hope, I hope it's okay. It's okay, and it's like. So is this fine with you? I hope. May I, may I move on. No problem. Yeah, he move said. On. But I know you hurt. It's okay. Oh, yeah. okay. Oh, okay. I'm Good. learning a lot from that, this culture. You know. I hope. I hope. Like you know. Like even at the street. I can see animals not being harmed by people. No. <laughs> I was like, I appreciate the Buddhist religion. It's very different, actually. We just say it's different. We cannot expect people to be the same, but it's just different. We see the good side, we see the harder side, but I think this world is just different. Nothing good or nothing bad or nothing perfectly good. <laughs> So in conclusion, I find it like this: this business, this tofu, is just your passion. It's not really much of yeah. getting it, wealth or something. Is, no, no. It's I'm, like your. I'm far away from from this already. If I would do the wealth, I would better do in my do something other, else. <laughs> I would better do in other area that I'm in on my hands Good. now. And also, I've I've seen it in your post in the social media that you're gonna open another branch. Yeah. We did not announce it yet, but this is gonna be the big gift for for all customers that have been supporting us. Mm -hmm. Really, it's a payback gratitude today. You know, our customers, they are not buyers, they are co-creators. Every single step of our development, they are part. They are helping to create, they help to comment, they help to build. So I cannot say that I'm the one who built Toto, it's actually everybody together. Yeah, so they feel like they also be part of, of, of Toto. The expansion, yeah. yeah and it, so. and um, the result of that, more people will have work because of that. I mean, yeah. you will be blessed. So is it final? Like, you're gonna open it on, on July? Uh, we start is renovating. We start renovating, building, mm -hmm. and then because we have a corporate identity which is brand CI. So we cannot just pick anywhere, putting any color. Mm. Everything is very detailed to come up. Okay. Even though you can see fresh, like fresh photo, you know it is photo. Mm -hmm. so. so is it going to operate or not yet? Um, on July um, 1, July 1st? For the on note, yes. Yay. For the onward, yes, but for the third branch, which is the biggest one. Oh, the biggest one. The biggest it, one. Okay, I would like to get a clue. Is it um, still in Bangkok, in, in Thailand? Yeah. yeah I mean, yeah. Is, is it in Bangkok area? I will let your guys guess because I will have the price for that later. Oh, <laughs> that must be a... That, that will be a surprise for you know. Yeah, but, but it's really... A weighty, uh, waiting um, customers. So that will be this one. Watch out for it. This one <laughs> yeah. is gonna watch be a really big it. one. Ooh. Yeah. So if it's it, it, if it's gonna be big, it means more recipes. Big in terms of the place. Ah, okay. The big recipe, of course, of course. Okay. And then more. I mean, uh, we will close later. We will mm. offer more. We will have bar. Oh. We have some. It's somewhere that you can really hang out. Wow. Okay, a bigger project soon. <laughs> Very soon. I think in two weeks time it's gonna. Wow. In two weeks after on. You no. must be super busy these days. I get used to that anyway. <laughs> not, not really a, a different life. This is normal. <laughs> if I'm not busy, I feel like what happened to my life? It must be something wrong. <laughs> True. <laughs> so. Yeah, um, even I, I'm so um, excited to, to visit in Onot because last time I ordered, I ordered last time, yeah. it was still during quarantine days uh -huh. and I pay, we paid with my neighbor in the same building, like 200 something for just the delivery fee. Oh yeah, where, where is that? Um, it's in Bering. Ah, yeah. And so then my the friend other... said it's because it's too far. It's too far. Yeah, yeah, but when you travel, you will also get tired. <laughs> yeah, and also the same expenses. <laughs> yeah. But now the good thing is that for Patunam, it's not reachable immediately. Mm. But 
when it's on note, you just go down from the BDN. Yeah, and right. Ready. Just you know, just, just take drive. the TS. Yeah, for me, I mean, that would be uh, an advantage because yeah. location-wise. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I've never expected that, but you know, the the the, the renting is really expensive, but we we think it's benefit our customer. So we should we should be somewhere that they we are reachable at the lowest cost. Mm-hmm. So that's why we decided. To I guess um, <laughs> money is not a problem <laughs> for you. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's, it's more of just the the, the location that yes. can you know accommodate customers yes. away from the. You know, place. you know. At the end of the day, uh, expenses or lose a profit, it doesn't. I mean, it come and go. No, At no. the end of the day you know how many people that you benefit their life mm-hmm. their life gets better because of you i think this is the final answer that's very inspiring <laughs> really, really. Oh. because sometimes when you profit and loss it comes and goes and you get experience and that experience is the exposure that will be the stepping stone for your success so if you are not facing losing at all um, you cannot yes, yes, I agree. And yeah, there there's more happiness in, in in things, you know, in things that are that cannot be seen or cannot be touched, like these material things, money kind of buy happiness. But um, the wheel of doing good to others is what really everything I think everything it depends on how you interpret. Every happening you have the receptor if your receptor is broken <laughs> whatever happened is not good so we could say that every happening depends on your interpreter which is your mindset it's not really good or bad if your mindset correct the receptor is not broken mm-hmm. everything is okay yeah so for me, there is no such thing as good or not good. It just happened. Okay. <laughs> and it's just different. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Actually, uh, I'm, I'm speechless. <laughs> because uh, a very wonderful uh, person is in front of me. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for so giving me the time. Actually.